Ciao friends, we are Ravi and Andrea and together we do Trek and Eats, a channel dedicated to travel and good food. Today we're going to show you our favorite Italian restaurants in DC and we are starting with Stellina, a place that we love and that we come to a lot. Stellina has been popular with locals since the day it opened. The owners are longtime friends from Naples and you might see them making the pizza there themselves. Their menu is inspired by the street food of southern Italy and includes anything from arancini to copo misto to house-made pastas and delicious pizzas. Their frito misto is one of our favorites and they are maybe the only place that serves carciofo alla romana in the city, which is the fried artichoke goodness you find in Rome. They play the latest Italian tunes and the ambiance is upscale casual and so chill that you can spend hours there without noticing. The staff is always friendly and welcoming and it's a no tipping restaurant. Another restaurant we like is Via Ghibellina. It's very authentic and is a well-kept secret in the Ivy City area. Let's go check it out. Via Ghibellina is a cozy restaurant in the Ivy City area and we eat there a lot when we crave some good Italian food. They have a nice selection of Italian wines and Italian-influenced cocktails, but the star is the food. Start with the frito misto and caprese. They are both delicious. The cacio pepe will have you dreaming of Rome. Cavatelli di ricotta con melanzana is another favorite of ours. But all of the pasta is absolutely delicious. We're gonna try the cacio pepe, which is a typical uh, Roman pasta, which we love. And it's practically cheese and peppers um, but it's cooked really really well here also we will have the cavatelli with um, eggplant which is a sicilian style preparation it has ricotta on top and yeah it's, it's amazing the famous cacio pepe Let's try the cavatelli with ricotta and eggplants. Mm. It's so good. The sweetness of the eggplants and the creaminess of the ricotta with the sauce is really amazing. And I also love the fact that the pasta is cooked al dente. For secondo, you must try the New York strip with green peppercorn and brandy sauce. It is absolutely delicious. For dessert, we recommend the barretta di gianduia and you may not want to share it. As an Italian living abroad, I'm constantly in search of good Italian restaurants in my city. Osteria Quattro is one of those places that makes me feel like I'm eating in a restaurant in my hometown, Rome. Not only for the food, but also for the friendly service. Speaking about the food, the chef cooks to perfection authentic Italian dishes with a modern take. From the appetizers, the zucchini blossoms and the cod tempura are a must try. All of the pasta plates are delicious, but the tortellini filled with carbonara, the gnocchi and the risotto are definitely our favorites.
They have a great choice of wines as well as desserts, such as the tiramisu, which is presented in the iconic Bialetti coffee maker. For those who do not want to choose, the restaurant also offers chef-curated three and five course menus. This other restaurant that we want to share with you all is called Meno Male, it's a Napolitan pizzeria. Uh, Napolitan style pizza uh, is the one that has a little bit of a thicker crust as opposed to Roman pizza for example, uh, which has a very thin and crunchy crust. The ingredients are really fresh and uh, as you can see from the little sign on top there, they even have you know, the little uh, authenticity of Vera Pizza Napoletana, which means it's real authentic Napolitan pizza. Their menu is basically only pizza and they have also some appetizer, but it's really famous for, for, for pizza. It's really good. <laughs> I love the dough. It's like um, Neapolitan style, a little bit thicker. Generally, in Italy, we eat, we, we eat pizza with beer and then when you're not Italian, like my wife. You eat pizza with wine. <laughs> but we don't mind. It's just a silly rule, meant to be broken. L'Ardente is one of the fanciest Italian inspired restaurants in DC. The decor is luxurious with high ceiling, velvet couches and modern furniture with gold finishing. The food is a reinterpretation of Italian classics. As appetizer, we love the arancini and the prosciutto di parma with focaccia and fig preserve. As main course, we like the famous four-layer lasagna with short rib sugo and truffle. And their version of carbonara pasta with confit egg yolk was good too, although we prefer the traditional one. The desserts are really good too. We like the janduja mousse and the 13 layer chocolate cake, which is fantastic. We hope you liked our roundup of Italian restaurants. Let us know what you think in the comments and stay tuned for more restaurant recommendations.